colour going on in this picture but uh, this is um, a photograph I took in Morocco the first time that I went and it's quite a nice hot sort of beach scene so we're just going to have a little bit of fun with it and we're going to just slap some washes on and um, see what happens let's just put some water up here I want to keep this band of white through there I think that might be quite nice if we can Okay, let's go for some French ultramarine blue. And maybe. So we're just slapping it on, having a little bit of fun with it. And we can take off some of that pigment. as clear a water as we come down. Okay, now I'm going for a little bit of burnt umber, just coming through here. And along there. here. So I'm putting it on very quickly and then some more of that blue can come into here and that will run a little bit but that's fine. And so far we've managed to keep that which is good. I'm going to mix a little bit of the burnt umber and the French ultramarine together just for that sort of bit of land that we can see through there. Go over those because they're going to be quite dark. And maybe we'll stop that land about there. Let's get a little bit of raw sienna in there too. That will give it a little bit of sunshine. Because although the photographs bleached out, it was quite sandy. Back to that blue. straight over those figures. Okay, we'll just leave that to dry and um, see if we can work with it. Yeah, it's quite nice just throwing things on and just seeing what happens. Really pleased with that. Sometimes it just helps to do things really quickly and not worry about it too much. Now some of those figures, I think we'll stay with the same colours. So the French ultramarine blue and a little bit of the burnt umber uh, just little shapes. They're very much sort of like carrot people, aren't they? Maybe add a little bit of brown as we come down there. There's a little bit of reflection into the water. Just there, darker. Oh, that's, that's coming on very nice. Now, those two little figures here. I just like the fact that it's a crowded beach, lots of people doing stuff. Back into the brown. These two are holding hands, that's quite nice. So when we painted this on the ships, I've turned you to do it in very bright colours, but I thought it might be quite nice to be just a little bit more traditional. And they're both reflecting down. people in the water. Oh, Kitty's running but that does look a little bit strange. I'm just doing figures. And then this nice figure here. OK, 
okay well I think that's our picture actually complete so maybe a few little right let's put a few little pebbles in here and there so just mix the French ultramarine and the burnt umber together so it's more brown a little bit thicker and then we've got these few bits of pebbles that are sort of coming along here Sort of marks the edge into the water. I don't want to overdo it. It's the danger that you you do. There's a few more here, and we get that dry. Then I will take out the pencil marks. Take your rubber and just rub really hard. I'm just going to move my paints out of the way because I don't want rubber in them but just go over those guides that you put in in the first place we didn't have too much but it would just be lovely and clear and pure watercolour well I hope you've enjoyed watching this it was great fun to do just taking a few minutes revisiting a painting that I've taught on a lot of the cruise ships but this time just using different colours. Sometimes when you revisit a subject um, you just see things a little bit differently depending what mood you're in at the time but have a go you'll have fun. Thank you for watching.